ini kisahku. walking through a street and you see a restaurant and you'd like to have more information about this restaurant that can be uh, displayed in front of your eyes. You can imagine a number of different things. A personal GPS type thing that would show you uh, directions to your destination. That information can be superimposed to what you would normally see. It's a very complicated device to make because uh, we have to incorporate high performance circuitry on a contact lens. We have to put uh, small radios on the contact lens to be able to communicate with this device, uh, send data to the lens, perhaps uh, get some, some data back. They start by boiling up some lead-free solder to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Into that, they dip a small polymer wafer that has a tiny circuit board etched onto one side of it. So once these small components are assembled, uh, we coat everything in a biocompatible polymer and mold the substrate into the right shape to make a contact lens. To test it, the team tries sending a radio signal to a prototype lens that holds a single pixel. Yo, Nicole, how you doing? How's Brooklyn treating you? Great to see you too. Your dog okay? I saw some really cool pictures. Keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> oh, Alana, hey. I haven't seen you since uh, South By in Austin. How's the video blogging stuff going? Good. Rock it out. I'm going to check out that latest episode. That's really nice. That's really nice. Desi, what's up? What's up? What's up? And I heard you finally getting out of Jersey, going to DC. Definitely, man. Treasury Department, right? Yeah, yeah, your hometown, dude. See, I don't trust you with my money, but congratulations <laughs> anyway. You know what I mean? Congratulations. Good. But hold up a minute. Before we get too carried away with this Terminator vision, when we last left Babak and his team, they had only managed to put one measly pixel on a lens. That's like staring at a flashlight compared to a TV screen. This idea is gonna need some work. It would take about a million pixels to create the images we want, and you can't do that by hand. So, Bobox gang dreamed up a shortcut. It's a technique called self-assembly. They make a liquid containing thousands of free-floating pixels. Then they sandwich a circuit board between two pieces of glass. When they pour the liquid into the sandwich, the pixels stick to the metal on the circuit board. With a breakthrough or two, a real bionic lens could be on the market. Then, you'll never be blown off by someone you're sure you know. You'll get instant info or quick reminders on everyone you meet. You'll never have to wonder who they are or what they're like. Yeah. 
pit 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 lihat deh itu udah pet cewek ya oh iya ya lagi lihat ini nih loh dulu ada yang lucu lihat dulu biar apa sih lihat dulu Jodoh, gua aja nggak punya jodoh. 